Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's starting to get really cold here in London and I've been doing a lot of shopping recently. So I thought it would just be a perfect time to do a little bit of an autumn winter styling haul and style up some of the pieces that I've actually bought recently. Okay, so for this first outfit, I'm kind of visualising sitting outside, having a coffee in London. It's a little bit of a chilly day, but you want to kind of sit outside and people watch. That's kind of what I'm visualising for this outfit, or that's what I kind of plan for it. So just to start with the hat, it's from a brand called Ever Brewin, and this is probably my favourite piece that I've brought this winter. I've wanted it for probably three winters. I first saw it on Instagram. I think celebrities like Rihanna, etc. wear them. I can't remember exactly how I found the brand but I just kind of keep seeing it popping up with different people wearing it and I'm just absolutely in love with it. It is a £400 hat. £400 for a hat. I know it's very very excessive and it's a faux fur hat as well it's not even like it's real fur it's faux fur but I'm wearing it now inside my house and I'm absolutely sweating. Sweating. So I feel like if it's a cold day. I don't really need a bigger coat than this to kind of sit outside unless it's like minus 10 degrees, which has actually been quite warm in London recently, considering it is autumn. It's normally a lot colder by now in London than it is at the moment. But anyway, I digress. So for the jacket, it's from a brand called Belmont Studios. And I first saw this brand on Kendall Jenner. She was wearing the tan version or the brown version of this jacket. And I just thought it looked really, really nice. And I've also been looking for a leather jacket with that kind of 90s look for a while. It was £89, which to be honest, I think is quite expensive for this jacket now that I've bought it because it's not absolutely perfect. I waited a month for it to arrive and it seems like it's come from China as like a drop shipping kind of website, like made to order. And that wasn't very clear on the website, if I'm honest. And it just kind of gave me kind of cheapy vibes. But I was thinking about returning it, but then they said I'd have to return it to China, which is just, oh, I can't bother with all that. So I've kept it and initially I was a bit annoyed because I felt like the waistband was a little bit kind of tight but I've just been stretching it out and trying to kind of stretch out the elastic in the waistband and then I've just tucked it over so that it gives it this kind of bomber jacket look which I actually probably think is the idea they had for the jacket but I just thought it'd be a little bit more loose and oversized because I did order a medium and normally I'd be a small but actually if I was to buy it again I'd probably go with a large so if you are thinking of buying then definitely size up two sizes but I just kind of feel like if I'd have just gone thrifting or something I would have found a jacket very very similar that's probably half the price so I don't know if I'd recommend but I do like it and I posted a picture on Instagram wearing it and a lot of people asked me where did you get a jacket from so that kind of tells me that it's a nice jacket so I'm gonna definitely keep it and then for the jeans I'm absolutely in love with these jeans so I find it so difficult to find jeans because I'm quite sure they always end up being long and then I have to tailor them and then they're just not quite right on the crotch or they're not quite right on the waist or there's always something wrong every time I buy jeans. So these jeans are from Levi's and obviously from Levi's you can choose your leg length which is just so helpful and then everything else just comes in proportion then once you've bought them. So I actually got leg length 30 and they're called Baggy Dad jeans. I think I'm actually going to buy these in a few different colours because they're just so easy to pull on and wear. They're so comfortable, there's just a perfect amount of room at the waist um, and obviously leg length is perfect. And then I've just styled them up with my Adidas Tyshawns, which I've shown a million times in my videos. They're just very similar to the Adidas Sambas that Bella Hadid wore and you know the rest. I've said it a million times, but I just wear them to death. So that's what I've styled up with. And then if it's a day where it's chilly, but there's still a little bit of sun, I'm thinking to wear these with the hat because does that not just transform me into the most fabulous person ever? I feel like this is just fabulous. Like imagine me just sitting outside, people watching, looking fabulous with my shades on. My cat is just annoying me. So these sunglasses are from a brand called Lexola. I've got lots of sunglasses from them. I just think they're really like fashionable, really cool kind of sunglasses. And this one is called the Geordie. And I believe it's an old style that they continue to have on the website so you'll definitely be able to find them okay 
Okay guys, so I've got another hat outfit and I'm thinking for this outfit, it's gonna be a really, really cold day. Maybe snowing, maybe hailing, just not a great day, but still wanna look fashionable. Maybe I'm in central London doing a little bit of shopping, running around doing errands. I don't really know, but it's definitely gonna be a cold day. And maybe there's a little bit of sun so that I can wear these sunglasses. Or maybe there's no sun and I just wear them as like a fashion accessory and hope that I get away with it. But anyway, the hat, initially I wanted to knit a hat like this because I've been getting into my knitting recently. I've been knitting a lot of beanies and scarves and stuff. But then I decided that maybe knitting a hat like this when I'm just a beginner knitter is probably not the best idea. So I found this hat online after a lot of searching. Like they're not easy to find, especially not one that's kind of funky colors with pom-poms and everything like this. So I actually found it on Google Images and it was from a brand called Black Yak, which is a brand that has products that are like handmade. I think all from Nepal. I mean, this one was handmade by someone in Nepal, so I presume everything on the website was from Nepal. It's not the best website set up. Literally, I found it on Google Images after like searching images on Google, and I found this and I was like, it's perfect. And it arrived pretty quickly, actually. It only took a week to get here, and obviously it's handmade, so that's pretty good. And then just for the jumper, so the jumper is from a brand called Sammy Day Studios which is a very very small London brand and I think they either hand knit the jumpers I'm pretty sure they hand knit them or they have knitting machines but they're a very small brand anyway and they specialize in knit and this jumper is just absolutely fabulous I think I've shown in a haul before I'm not too sure but anyway it's a size medium that I got just to give it this really like crazy oversized baggy comfy look and then I've just styled it up with my black cargoes which are from with G which I bought about two years ago I believe and I had them tailored to make them shorter because they were like so long when I got them and I got them in a medium so that they're nice and loose on the waist so it's just really really comfy and then just styled them up with my Dr. Martin so that if it's snowing or raining or whatever I can um, walk comfortably without rain, snow, sleet coming into my feet but I still look fabulous that makes sense and then the sunglasses are from a brand called DMY by DMY and they're called Andy and I haven't actually worn these yet but I'm very excited to and then if I'm going somewhere that's a little bit bougie then I'd probably style my Balenciaga like a ghoul bag just to make it a little bit more fancy and not so much I'm just about to go skiing type of vibes but I've worn this bag to absolute death so you've probably seen it a million times definitely got my wear out of this one <laughs> next outfit I'm thinking kind of date night but still want to be comfortable because this jumpsuit is literally the most comfortable thing I've ever worn I literally feel like I'm in my pajamas but then because it's kind of quite figure hugging I feel like it shows a little bit of the bootay off you can get away with it being a date night outfit and I've just jazzed it up a little bit with this belt and then put these sunglasses on again because they just make everything look absolutely fabulous but also you can wear without, obviously probably not going to wear them eating in a restaurant or whatever. So with or without is amazing. And then my boots. My boots, my boots, my boots. I am in love with these boots. In love. Like I've been looking everywhere for the most perfect pair of winter boots that I can just spend a little bit of money on but then wear season after season. And I just think these boots are so interesting. They're from a brand called Mister and they're called Brenda. I believe this style is called. And they're just a bit of a crazy wacky shape but they've got a bit of a heel on them but it's not too high and they're just really really comfortable because me and heels do not get along so I try to just do anything I can to get a little bit of height but not have to wear a heel that's going to ruin my night, hurt my feet, have me sitting down in pain so I feel like these are just perfect and they're going to keep me super warm as well because obviously my feet are covered and I've recently did a autumn winter wish list video where I put the other pair of boots that I really want on there, the Stevie boots by by far because these are like a shorter length boot I feel like they'd be a really good longer length boot and then once I've got a short and a long boot I really don't need anything else any other boots in my wardrobe okay so next 
next up, I've got another date night outfit, which I'm really in love with. So I've got this really beautiful lacy shirt top thing, and it's from a brand called Sousa Musa. And again, it's a really small London brand, but I believe they hand make everything, and it's just beautifully made. The lace is like really, really stretchy. So it kind of really hugs your figure and pulls you in a little bit. And then for the jeans, again, I've just got my Levi jeans that I was wearing earlier on. because They just go really nicely with everything and they're just so comfortable. And then again, I've got my amazing boots from Mr. And I've just styled it up with my Balenciaga bag just to give it a little bit of bougie. <laughs> next outfit is just a super casual look and the beanie is from a brand called Michelle and Greg I believe I found them online because I was just kind of searching on Google for real cashmere cream beanie I did buy it like three years ago but I believe they still have them on the website because I was looking this year to see if I could get a different colour because I'm just so in love with it like the shape is perfect the quality is amazing obviously it's really soft sometimes I find with beanies even if you spend money on them they're just really that kind of itchy knit which I absolutely cannot bear so if you find a kind of good quality one I feel like just stick with that style and just buy it in like multiple colours is kind of what I would go for and then I've just styled it up with this really casual crew neck jumper which I have shown in my set active haul quite a while ago, but it's just so comfortable and I just absolutely love the shape of it. So when I wash it, I just try my best to kind of wash it on a delicate wash and iron it out nicely so that it keeps its shape because I just, when I get a good kind of casual jumper that you can wear again and again, I just really don't want to let it go. I just kind of hold on to them forever and, and wear them every day because I am kind of comfy gal when it's like day to day wear and then i've just styled it up with my mimi bottoms which are from peachy den which again shown a million times and then my adidas trainers again because you know you have to re-wear your clothes what's the point in spending money on them and then not re-wearing them like i really really try to wear my clothes as much as possible and really get my money's worth out of everything i buy and then obviously buy new stuff but style it up with the old stuff if that makes sense okay so this next outfit is just really casual and super easy to put together i actually wore this outfit the other day to selfridges cinema to watch woman king so the jumper is from a brand called bella fruit which i found online because i was kind of just searching for striped knit jumpers and this one came up and i just fell in love with it because it's incredible like the knit i don't know if you can see but it's kind of like a furry knit which is just really really soft and really cozy and also very very warm i'm sweating in it right now so yeah i found that and then the cargo trousers again are just my with jean ones and then i've just styled it up with a pair of old school bands which are just so comfy and obviously just a wardrobe staple that you can just wear again and again and then i just added my little balenciaga bag just just to give it a little bit of fuginess again, just so it doesn't look so casual, because obviously we went to Selfridges, you know, to walk through there or whatever. So yeah, I just thought I'd add a little bit of fuginess. And then I've just got this little pearl necklace that I styled up with it, because I just thought that looked really, really cute with this jumper. <laughs> This next outfit I feel like would be a perfect outfit for kind of going out for the day, shopping in London or something like that. So obviously skirts were a massive trend for summer and I just wasn't ready to let go of them. So I've styled this look up with a little mini skirt but then added some tights with it just so I'm actually a little bit warm when I go out. And then these boots which I'm sure you're absolutely sick to death of seeing because I know on Instagram everyone's sick to death of seeing them. I've actually had to refrain myself from wearing them because I just felt like every Every single picture I was posting was with these boots but I can't bring myself to get rid of them because they're just the perfect length and then they've got these kind of like platform but then they don't look platformed so they give me that little bit of height that I really really need and they're from a brand called Doocy which I'm not even sure exists anymore I bought them like three years ago so I try to look after them just so 
I don't have to buy another pair. And then I've just got this high neck jumper which I bought from Olive Clothing again like three or four years ago. I just really like to buy kind of quality items that are going to last me. And I do like trend stuff, don't get me wrong, I love following the trends. But if I can get something that's a staple in my wardrobe that I'm going to wear over and over again, I would prefer to do that than spend my money on something that's a little bit trendy. And then I've just started out with my Balenciaga bag because, I mean, these bags are expensive so I need to get the wear out of them and then this little headband I actually just found in the bottom of my drawer I think I probably bought like a million years ago from Zara but I just thought it kind of gives it that kind of glitzy Christmassy kind of look so yeah each season I like to kind of pull all my drawers out pull everything out and then just depop anything that I don't want and in the process of doing that I end up finding some little gems that I've completely forgotten about <laughs> So if you watched my autumn winter wishlist video, you'll know I really, really want a oversized motorcycle jacket, specifically the Red Bull one. But after going through my boyfriend's wardrobe, I actually found this incredible, incredible off-white jacket, which I'm just absolutely in love with. And I've never seen him wear it. It must have cost an absolute bomb. So I've just pretty much taken it over and just been wearing it to death recently. And then I've just styled it up with a little white t-shirt, which I got from Bella Fruit. Obviously the stripe jumper that I showed you guys earlier is from there. And I just found this little t-shirt on the website and I just thought that the shape was really, really nice um, and how it kind of sits. And then I've styled it up with my Levi's jeans again. And then just my little bit Booties, as I feel like they kind of give me rock star chick vibes as well and just to kind of give it that extra <laughs> So this next outfit I feel like is just me all over because it's just so cosy, so comfy but still has that kind of bit of fashion element. So I feel like cardigans have just really come back into fashion recently which I'm so so happy about because jumpers sometimes can feel a little bit suffocating. If you've got a t-shirt on underneath a cardigan you can kind of wrap up warm but then if you go inside somewhere and you need to take it off you've got a t-shirt or whatever underneath. So I just love love cardigans and again I've got this one from Bella fruit and the quality is just insane it's got like this amazing crazy stitch pattern which i've never seen before and it's just really heavy weight and feels just super high quality and then it's got these little kind of buttons down the front so you can have it done up or you can have it undone however you want to have it then i've just put a plain white t-shirt underneath again and my levi jeans so you can see that i'm definitely getting the wear out of these and then just my converse for comfort so that i just feel super cozy and then these little headbands are like little plastic headbands i got them from claire's accessories i saw bella hadid wearing similar ones when she's just kind of casually out and about around like new york or la or wherever the hell she is you know just looking fabulous and i just thought they are so good because i've got like really thick hair that's always kind of in my face I just need something to kind of push it back and keep it out of my face and I found I've just been wearing these kind of every single day since I've bought them at first they weren't really strong enough to hold my hair because I had really really long hair and it's really heavy but I feel like now I've kind of chopped it off a little bit they are much easier to wear and just look really cute and casual Okay guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up so that I can make more videos like this because I really do enjoy them. You guys know how much I love clothes and styling them up is just the most exciting thing for me. So if you can support my channel, it's always appreciated and I'll see you next time.